Oh my gosh. Chicken bros. Chicken bros. Uh, I'm eating a chicken bro. Look at this. Look at this sandwich here. It's unbelievable. Um, I could barely get my mouth around it. Here we go. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the inside. There's all kinds of pickles and cabbage and just a beautiful, beautiful sandwich. Um, we're going to talk to the owner of Chicken Bros. He's also the owner of, of uh, Boba Boba uh, Pup. Yeah. And our guest is, I didn't even know how to say your name. I didn't even look. Tony. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> yeah. And Tron? Yes, sir. Tony Tron. Yeah. You have these cool restaurants called uh, Boba Pub. Yes. There's one right here close to the Tower District, right there at Shields and uh, Maroa. Yes. And then there's one out in uh, uh, Clovis. Oh, first on, bar. That's the one, Peach and Shaw. Peach and Shaw. That's actually more of a lounge. We have a pool table there. Oh, nice. We also have foosball. It's the first of its It's more kind. like a pub. It is a pub. It is a pub. Except without alcohol. It's Boba a pub for pub. younger kids. <laughs> and, and, and by the way, next to Boba Pub is Chicken... Bros, the put the up the one. logo for Chicken Bros. This is really something here. Uh, the other one there, the yeah. chicken. There you go, Chick in Bros. Get it? Yep. I, I read. It. I thought, oh, Chick. Then I read it. Chicken, Chicken Bros, Chicken Brothers, kind of thing. Used to be a food truck in San Jose. Right? We still are, but then you the thing are. is, we open up a uh, brick and mortar down here. We're brick and mortar. Let's open up a couple more. In now there's the next one year more so. boba pub, and that's kind of up by Fresno State, right? See yeah, it? that's the one. That's our main one. That's how we started. Yeah, that's so, one I, yeah. I knew about. That's up by uh, that's up by uh, Fresno State uh, Barstow and Cedar, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, what if somebody goes in there? What are they going to find in the Boba Pub? They're going to find any kind of refreshing drinks that they want. We got coffee. We got milk tea. We got slushies. We got everything. Now, Boba are these little round ball things. Yes. I've never figured out what they are. Is it, is it a berry? Is it something that grows someplace? Is it something it's you make? It's technically a tapioca. Uh, it's a tapioca starch. Mm -hmm. It comes from uh, Asia. Okay. And they just form it into like a little bowl, and we just got to cook it and prep it right. Okay. So our boba is made fresh every single two hours, so that's what that's what makes us a lot different than all the other boba shops. Too. So you get the boba, and then you prepare it. Yes. Okay. And normal regular people can't do that. You gotta have a skill at that, I would imagine. Uh, it's more of a what you have to have is pretty much consistency in it. Yeah. Well, so don't we, give away the secret. There's no secret. It's just hard work. <laughs> hard work, hard work. So, but we don't have to do the hard work. We just go to the boba pub. Nope. It normally takes about an hour to make it too. Okay. Wow. So, I mean, it takes a long time to prep. So, to a lot of us, it's new. Mm -hmm. Like in the last couple of years, they're you know popping up and it's actually been around people. for 20 years. 20 believe years. it or not, but wow. it never went mainstream until recently. Yeah. Uh, I think Baskin Robbins starting to try to get into it too. But. Yeah, when they like to try. Yeah, huh? but don't go there. Go to Boba Pub because <laughs> they really know how how to do it. Oh, we um, perfected it. <laughs> so was the first one there at Cedar and Barstow? Yes. And so that's kind of your main one. Yes. And do you get a lot of students in there from the college? We get everybody. Everybody from all everybody over. Everybody so. from all over. That's that's like our main spot. It's uh, during summer. It gets extraordinarily packed. Right now is a good time to go try it because you know it's kind of cold, so not a lot. People's going in, rushing now's in the time for to go. it. Yep. Now, um, so I'm going to go to the one at Shields and Maroa first because yes. it's right up the street, right on my way home from the gym. Uh, I wonder if I should get it on the way to the gym or on the way home. You should get it on the way home. On the way home. So right. Otherwise, your gym time is not going to do anything <laughs> okay. for you. Okay. <laughs> I'll probably fall <laughs> Make sure it drinks stuff. decently good yeah. and sweet. Okay. Then um, the next one I'm going to go to is the Boba Pub out in Clovis because, like you said, it's a lounge. We just started to remodel there lightly. Mm -hmm. uh, we added, like, a custom bench there. We added pool table, foosball, pool table. It's so people could, you know, go in there and have something to do and, and just sit around. Way. Yeah. And also foosball. We also have a digital gaming table. So mm -hmm. it has digital board games. That's cool. So we're the first of – actually, I think we're the only shop down here that has something like that. Right out there in Clovis. Now – now you say next door to this boba pub is your chicken bros. It's uh, right across in the other plaza, yeah. Okay. It's our chicken bros. Uh, we've just been open for three months. Three so months. So not a lot of people even know about us yet, but. Um, if you buy a chicken bro, a chicken sandwich like this, can you take it over to boba and eat it and get your drink there? Absolutely. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm gonna do. Just... I'm gonna make a day of it. Look at this, you guys. Now, when are you open? When will We're we... open at 10.30 a.m. Uh, at Chicken Bros. Got to lick my fingers. 10.30 <laughs> a.m. at Chicken and Bros. And we close at 10 p.m. Monday to Thursday, and we stay open till 11, uh, Friday and Saturday. It's driving me crazy. More and more restaurants are closing later at night. 
I don't even want to eat till seven or eight o'clock. And I go to the once up the street. The only problem we closed. have is nobody comes that night. Everybody oh, really? asks for us to be open. They want you to be open, but that night comes, nobody yeah. shows up. Well, we need to support that. If you want late restaurants, late dining, you got to support late dining when someone's open. It's expensive to stay open when there's no customers, right? It costs a lot. Yeah, a lot. Business costs a lot, and especially with how everything is, and you know, the price on everything went up three folds, mm. and we have not changed our price. We haven't once. changed the price. Yeah, people don't realize just the first you got the rent. Yep. You got the utility bills. PG&E's got to kill you guys. Yep. And then the labor is a big, big cost. So. And it's hard to find good labor. Oh, it's too. hard right now. Yeah. Yeah. People, I mean, kids aren't wanting to work. So I mean, we got good, a good crew, and they're all willing to work and everything. So we're blessed with that. But good, yeah. you know, it's probably because how we run the business too. Yeah. We put our our employees first. Yeah. Well, you seem like you'd be a fun boss to have. So <laughs> good boss. Most to have. times. <laughs> as long as you work hard, we're gonna yep. treat our workers. Good. We will take care of you. Now. Uh, do you guys have some uh, presents? Well, our uh, intern found you out on uh, Instagram. Oh, yeah. That's how they found you. Oh, nice. And said, hey, come on our talk show, and here you are. Yeah. And we just said, hey, you want to be on a talk show? You said, yeah, I'll come. And we really appreciate that. Yeah, no so, problem. Um, appreciate you having us. And by the way, our YouTube channel, which this video, uh, it's live now. People are watching all over the world right this minute. Oh, nice. It's going to go on YouTube, and we're going to hit a million views on our YouTube sometime this month. I hope your video gets I us to the million. I hope our video is the million. <laughs> yeah, we're record setting video. What else do you want our viewers to know? Um, so pretty much our boba shop on the main one is open from 10 a.m., and we close at midnight. Okay. So you can get refreshing That's one at Cedar drinks. and Barstow. Yes. Okay. And our other two locations closed at 10. Okay. But pretty much anytime you want boba, we got you. You got it. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I go to that theater over there, Maya Cinema, oh, over yeah. by Fresno State, and yeah, then I'm yeah. going to go to that boba. I'm going to visit all the bobas. Now, is this uh, boba, is it a, a, a drink from one ethnicity? It's, it's a universal drink now. It it's universal. just pretty much a it's topping. Everywhere. We have like 15 to 16 other toppings. Oh, too. so if you go to boba, you're not always so just you gotta gonna get pick boba. Out a, you, no, you could get a coffee without boba. Mm -hmm. But it's just the name just mainstream where it's like almost like a drink. People think of a drink when yeah. they think of boba. Right. Yeah, so you don't have to get just a boba. There's all kinds of choices. They're open all kinds of hours. They'll take care of you anytime, any place. Thank you, uh, Tommy. Tony. Tony. Darn. Yes, no problem. Tony. Tom. Oh, one more thing. Oh, yeah, please. So between 3 and 5 p.m. Monday to Thursday at Chicken Bros, we're doing 10, 10 for 10. So 10 bone-in wings. Ah. For ten dollars, that's nice. I mean, that's a deal, and we use some kind of like happy hour kind yep, of thing. It is our happy hour. Happy hour, good. Yep. good Except good. we uh, we don't carry any alcohol, but right. But that's over at uh, Shaw and Peach area. Yes. By where? Uh, it's in the Walmart Center. Walmart. You'll okay. see a flag. I mean, we got banners up all over the dang place. <laughs> okay. We'll find it. All right. Uh, Tony Trong. Yes, sir. Tony Trong from uh, Bobo Pub and Chick and Bros. Chicken Bros. All right. We'll be back with more uh, food, more food right after this. Uh -huh.